got fluffs on me. What's going on? I got fluffs on me. That is not on though. Interesting. The red light on the main camera. It's not? No, it's not. Oh, interesting. Yeah. it's on. Interesting. <laughs> it is on. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. hello, hello. How's everybody? How's everybody? Look at all you peoples. Look at all you people. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. Mm -mm. Uh, I was actually just hand uh, stitching the binding onto one of my little uh, tree projects we did for some free motion quilting. So it's how to make a tree. We did that uh, a couple years ago. Yeah, I found it in my tidying things up and I'm like, let's square it up and let's put a little frame on it. All right. Oh, confident quilter class. I caught a bit of your live stream uh, yesterday and in, in replay. Thank you very much. That's actually cute. We, we did that as a scrappy pink, uh, I think, project there. Thank you, Siberian Wolf. Mm, the hazards of the snowing st snowing studio. I know, right? Things happen. <laughs> Hello, Valerie and Katie and June and Mona and Linda Lindsay and June Hansen and Jill Dell and April and Kelly Quilts and Cruises. I have to press backing fabric and then a uh, quilt uh, can quilt one of the belt. Nice. Nice. Hello, Valerie and Shelly and Pat Bowman and Pat Ram. Greenies from Shanville, Ohio, where it is balmy and 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, that's that's chilly. That is about minus 10-ish, I think. I'm going to say about 10. Or ish-ish. Ish-ish. ish, -ish. ish, -ish. ish, -ish. <laughs> ish, -ish. <laughs> Hello, Jenny Anderson. Good morning. Looking forward to hearing about the heart we saw yesterday. Well, good. Good. Here it is today. Thank you. If you can see it. I want to make sure so you can see it. Well, pretty much. You could. So what I, there should be the cuts available in the, yeah, uh, in the, give me a second. okay, give Pop a second. So the I, link, the link's in the description. The link for the full pattern is in the description, as but, well as the cuts, the as, link to the cuts. As well as the link. links to the cuts, Pop says. Okay. Yeah. So I shrunk it because I thought, how cute would that be to shrink it? And I used some really cute fabric I was gifted here, I think. Okay. It's got, uh, hold on. Let me go overhead. It has, oh, sorry, I had to write the right way. Uh, Rome, London, uh, Paris, that sort of thing. It's so cute. I loved all the, just a little, you know, kind of quirky, fun, look like candies and hearts and loves and all that sort of fun stuff. And then I had some, uh, this is actually textured. It's got a, uh, like a little bubble feel to it. Can you see that? It's actually textured. It's kind of neat. So I used that. So I used those two and it just chopped up the bits. When I got to, I think, this section here, um, I thought to myself, well, I just really need to fill the line. So why can't I just make the cut what I needed? And then I was like, hey, you could do like I did with the wreath and just use a fabric of sorts like I did with this one, just use the fabric, but you could just, just you know, cut the cut, the cut, not break it up if you didn't want to, right? You could still make a really cool kind of heart, so. Yeah, didn't I mate? So that's what I made. So yeah, the, the all the stuffies should be in the description below, but isn't that cute? I'm trying to get so I could show you real close. And I just put loops at the top. You don't have to. That was just me. Um, just because I think it would be kind of cute word to hang around here. So, make something, yeah. Remember how you were talking about those uh, dowels for your... My quilting thingy? Quilting frame. Is this one of them? I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's been chewed, though. <laughs> so oh, far, you, you hungry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. That, yeah, this would have been one of the big ones. Definitely. Mm, let me show the quilter. Hello, Bettina, working on getting quilt tops done. Very nice. Very nice. Hello, Lori Clark. Hello, Sherlock. Hello, Alexine Stitching. How you doing? Happy to see you. Oh, you've been busy all week, girl. We need, we need, we need to FaceTime. Mm -hmm. FaceTime? Yeah, we need to FaceTime. Or Zoom or something. Good morning. I'm up and stitching. Nice. Nice night. Hello, Diane. Hello, Fair Lady Fair. Hello, Tessa. Hello, Vicky. I haven't seen you in a while. That's pretty. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Hello, Teresa. Louise, I quilt too. Mm -mm. Yeah, super cute. So, uh, yeah, so I shrunk the pattern. And um, there's maybe a couple of the cuts that make it a little bit longer, but just square up in the end. Just It's better to go a little long and then trim up than it is to go be too short. So, yeah, have some fun with it, okay? I, I want to see your hearts. I want to see your hearts. 
<laughs> but today we're gonna build the big one. Okay, so let's get started. Let's put this on the wall so we can show all the peeps what we're doing today. Look what we're doing today. We're gonna make a big one. A big, a big, a big, a big, a big, a big one. But I just wanted to, sh to keep showing you guys that you don't have to make the big one if you don't want to. You can make a small one, right? You just have to fiddle with the math a bit. And instead of making a big wreath, you make a widow wreath. Right? Do this as blocks as a season, right? You can have fun. Use it scrappy, make it scrappy. Use one fabric instead. I like the mix of tone because it kind of gave it a bit of dimension, but yeah. So another another lesson on shrinking a pattern. Miniaturizing it. We're gonna what is it, the borrowers? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna borrow over it. Okay. I want to tuck this in here. Love the wreath is cute, isn't it? Hello, Pat Strauss. What's Lowe is up to today? Blue face, we're, we're out until midnight. Oh, you were out until midnight. Yeah, you were partying. You were partying. 12 degrees uh, Fahrenheit here in central New York. Burr. That is cold. Um, mm, 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 mm. How's everybody? We good? We good. Okay, all right. Let me put this away. So, I'll show you. That. Actually, before I put it away, this was just um, thread painting. I was just having some fun and it was somebody wanted to learn they'd seen it in a couple of projects that I'd done and I was backing and wanted to know how how I made a tree with thread and this is how I made a tree with thread huh? you could obviously put leaves on it you can go nuts with the green thread and stuff like that I think I'd probably do swirls or like um, walnut not walnut shapes uh, almond shapes something like that I would do that El Green might be here. She doesn't have a computer. Hubby is waiting on new glasses. So I think that's part of the situation too. Okay, yeah, no worries. Actually, she did send me a piece of mail. So, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Valerie. I appreciate the update. So, yeah, so not cute. That's, you just have to have fun with your thread. Okay, kind of get the basic idea. You know what a tree looks like. If not, go outside and touch some grass. You'll see. There's trees out there. <laughs> uh, the borders too. Yeah, it's just I. It was literally two bits of fabric I had around here. I'm like, mm, pop it on, and there wasn't enough, so I slapped a little blue from yesterday's project. <laughs> Making things work around here, people. <laughs> so I don't have any tea, but I got some slightly flavored water here. So cheers, everybody. Stay hydrated. Mm -mm. Okay, so let's move that. So yeah, it was cute material on doing the art. Okay. And it's a cute one just to hang up. You can hang it on your door. Oh, Joy Wilson here. Uh, love, love, love it. Uh, much thanks. We'll find it soon. Oh, you got your quilt. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I had to connect it all together there. I was like, bind it soon. Hmm, what the? Awesome. I'm so glad you love it. Joy Wilson was the winner. Uh, I gave away as, as one of our giveaways was a quilting of your quilt. It didn't matter the size. Could have been at least, uh, maximum was 120 by 120. So, yeah. So I gave that away. Yay! I'm so glad you like it, Joy. See people? Happy people in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, exclamation cut list. You yeah, said cool. For the, one. for the small one. Hey, Glenda. That's cool. What's just. Teresa Louise joined the club. Thank you so much. We're actually having a Zoom on uh, Wednesday. It's for uh, club members. 
club members, people who help out our channel. We're doing a Zoom on Wednesday, so come hang out Wednesday afternoon. Do, 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 do. Thank you very much for helping support our channel. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, and it just goes to show you appreciate the great content that we're trying to put out there for you. So, hello, my cool projects. Hello, Dawn Uffler. She's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it's. Uh, fine. I can pull it back if you like. The back is not so, so pretty because I used just whatever in the bobbin thread because I was just using stuff up here. I'll show you. I'll show you. But I still like it. Okay, so here's the front. Okay. So here's the front. So you can see that. And I just did the trunk. Nothing too crazy, just thread patent using, um, I think it was my free motion foot, I believe. And then here is the back. Okay, it does have a few little stains on here, but like I said, it's just only for me. And I just used whatever I found in the bobbin of what needed to be tossed up. So it kind of looks pretty from both sides. Like this looks like the start of new growth. This looks I'm ready for winter sort of thing. So that's why I kind of keeping them so I can just hang it up or just post it up here. So, cause it looks pretty just either way, right? I think anyways, oh, yeah. Have some fun. That's a great, really inexpensive gift. Uh, if you especially if you want to use up some thread and you can do like a nice calligraphy family letter in the corner and give that as a gift of a pillow. And it's like their little family tree. Why, thank you, Kelly Ayn. Thank you, Allison. And thank you, Mary H. Yeah, welcome to the gang, Teresa. <laughs> Says Lori Clark. She'll be there. I hope she'll be there. Mm -mm -mm. Valerie, hopefully, will be there. And Math Geek will hopefully be there. Happy Saturday, Math Geek. What's going on? Well, I'm so happy that you loved your quilt there, Joy. I know you gave me free reign on it to do what I wanted. And I just hope I... Put as much love into it as you did putting it together and i'm glad you bulked up those those borders i'm so happy you did actually i was like kudos girlfriend i'm glad you did <laughs> i have the means to do it right so that's why i said make it as big as you like just like 120 by 120. yeah nice ball hanging okay all right let's get cracking people got things to do let's go people see okay so i literally just printed off this and that's how i made that Okay, absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And thank you for believing in me to do your quilt for you. All right, so here are my uh, pieces. Okay, I have them all this here. I have extra fabric here, so we'll go overhead. Here's some, not, not that gray, but these are the reds. And then I have a pop of this, this white in here. And then I have a little bit of this going on here too with the arrows. Isn't that cute? Totally goes with the whole straight through my heart. <laughs> okay, so here is we can work our way from uh, the bottom up. I think I might do that this time around, and and go from there. So, okay. Uh, do you want the pattern? I can send it if you want. Oh, for your quilt? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would not say no to that. I, I would not say no to that. Hello, Miss Pam the Baker. Hi, everyone. Hope you're um, you are all coping with the cold outside. It is not too bad here. I am not going to complain. In fact, here we'll give you an outside cam shot. There you go. It was about minus eight this morning, and then we had some snow, and I think it's about minus four right now. Hello, Denise. Welcome to the chat. Happy to see you, my dear. Hello, Donna Bogart. How you doing? Hello, Beastie Tracy. Happy to see you. Hi, everybody. If I missed you, I'm sorry. I'm saying hi to you now. Hello, Deborah. I see you. You're lurking at work. I see you, Deborah. You're lurking at work. Hello, Daniel. What are you doing? Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. Yeah. So, not um, very. Ch uh, uh, there's ice on the pond. Oh, we got something to do for the We got something for the loafies. Might applicate a heart like this. Hmm. Thinking how? Ooh, there you go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the loaf? <laughs> She's like, I'm so ready, Mama. <laughs> okay, so let's start with 20, which is row 20. We have our two pieces cut right here. We have a lovely uh, sparkly, 
spark a little, I don't know, circle, sparkle, whatever. I'm eating my mango. It's finally ripe enough to eat. I find that really tough with mangoes. Hey, dude, that's it. That's, that's what you get. Don't, don't be that. Nope. You just chill. Hello, Kathleen Davis. Happy to see you. Hello, the Quilting Compound. Tracy Provis. All the cool kids in the house. Woo, woo. All the cool kids in the house. Uh, exclamation cut list for the short cut list. So we love feet. I know, right? Um, and then for the mini. And, and then we have what is exclamation pattern for the full on big 50 by 55 uh, quilt. Okay, or lap quilt. I guess it's a lap quilt. 50 by 55. 50 by 55. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's great. That's a huge wall hanging though. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna put this in this. So we wanna put the big one and the little one. Okay, so we're gonna do here and here. And we're just gonna build it up row by row. So we'll stitch here and stitch there. And that'll be row 20 done. It shouldn't take us too long. Shouldn't take us too long at all. Okay, let's go over to the, over the shoulder and me. There we go, okay, perfect. Mm -mm. All right, these are on, regular stitch. I see Tracy. I did say hi to her. Did 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 I did I miss her? Did she? Mm, okay, okay. I did say hi. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, listen, can't chat. Okay, I'm listening. I I understand you can't chat. Listen, I can't chat. <laughs> That's how I took that. <laughs> I, I know, it's probably wrong. Okay. So with, without um, your borders, you're looking at 42. So, what's up, honey? Your phone? I thought you just said you didn't bring it in. I wasn't sure. I just oh. Check yeah, I didn't. I didn't uh, see anything. Yeah, there you go, Michelle. There you go. Oh, sorry. Over here. Dorky dork. Hello, Ms. Nadine. How you doing? Happy to see you. Uh, I love that you use the AccuFeed when piecing uh, on your machine. It's so quite inspiring. I, I love it, Daniel. It's my favorite. I was very resistant at first, but I came to. I came to. Okay. We are going to. Put that there. All right, so now we're working on row 19, which is, you can mix your colors any way you like. It's uh, actually, there is a boo-boo in the pattern. Here, you see right smack in the center there, there's a gray piece. It's not supposed to be gray. It's supposed to be pink like one. Okay, so it does make a boo-boo, but now you know. Okay. So that is a pink, not a gray. You could put a gray in there if you wanted to. That's completely up to you. I mean, there's so many cute ones on that website. I would like pop like the third one, the simple hearts or something like that. And then there was another one I liked as well. So they'll probably be on the list. Yeah. A couple more before uh, Valentine's Day too. Yeah, a couple more streams. Yeah, we could do a couple more hearties, hearty, heart, heart streams. Someone else is working on a heart too. I missed it just, just as it went off the screen. Because I was helping with the TV there. So. You understand. Mm, hello, guess who, Nancy? Oh, you're very welcome for the pattern there, Lynn. It's, it's super cute, and it's easy, and it's a little lopsided. It's meant to be that way. Okay. But if you want to fix it and do something different, that's all up to you. So. Okay, so now we're gonna go with the long and then the short. The long and the short of it. Okay. I hope I have all my pieces right. If, if I don't, I have extra fabric here, and I don't have any much of the gray left. So if I made a mistake on the backing there, I'd be I'd be crying. So 
All right, uh, I don't really need the pins for that. Let's just go over here for a moment. <laughs> yeah, so uh, cut list, exclamation cut list for the mini, for the small uh, pink one behind here, me that I, I did all the math for you. So if you, well, you want to make a small one, I don't want to discourage you from making a heart uh, because you're like, I don't need to do a 50 or 55 uh, bike quilt. So do a small one. I think it ends up, I put a three inch border on it and it ends up being about 24 inches. So 24 by 24. All right, so now we got that. Okay. Yeah, it kind of lines up. There we go. We can put those two together. And I think I'll do like two by two by two. Do two rows, two rows, two rows, and then like that. Mm, I did a heart quilt for my niece's bridal shower gift and then for my daughter-in-law, Jessica's firehouse, but in BT's. Yeah, yeah, I think I remember seeing that one. Very cute. <coughs> and who wouldn't like a heart? You could do it as a wedding gift. You could do it as a birthday gift. You could have it just out for Valentine's Day. All right, let's scoot under here. Do, 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 do. Sorry about that. Uh, I just downloaded both. Hmm, uh, another scroll moment. <laughs> Those are okay, you know. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't want to be... Uh, people are sometimes discouraged by a big pattern like that. They're like, oh, it's cute, but it's just too big. Well, I've done the math. It's okay. It's not too big. You can still make one. Small, small is where it's at. Dublin, how's the weather out there, over there? How's our, how's our weather for our UK friends? I haven't seen Miss Helly yet either. So. We know Miss, Miss Gwenny's got PC problems. I'm not sure when we'll see Miss Gwenny, but we'll see her. She sent, she, she sent me a note. I wish I could just help her, like, just by magic. <laughs> like, here, fix whatever's wrong. <laughs> I just don't got that power. I don't got that power, power, power. It's a rabbit hole. Previous made six of the hourglass ones. Like <laughs> those ones are cute. And I did have, the, I had that on my eye, like a list of things to do, but it seems like everybody and their brother and their cousin has been doing them. So I'm like, yeah, I'll find something else. So. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. So. Now y'all be uh, watching out there because uh, Miss Allison has a sheriff, a son for a sheriff now, or a sheriff for a son now. So um, she's watching all you. <laughs> yeah. Getting ready to free motion the week, so very nice, follower. Nice. The the small one or the big one? Next time you get up, can I see those up? A close up of the mirror. Oh, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, 18. Let's get 18 done. Okay. It's super easy because you really just got uh, three pieces of fabric uh, for... One, two, three, four, five, six, six rows. So super easy. You betcha there, Cynthia Cook. Anything for you. Big one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Very nice. And that's a good lap size quilt, too. Like, uh, most people, because of... Oops, I sold that. What? Whoa. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, most people can't uh, can't or don't want to fuss with a big queen or twin size quilt in their domestic machine, especially if you don't have a big throat space. Like you know, I got a big big one here, Janie. 
Uh, but she's a heavy duty machine too. She's heavy and she's meant for piecing. Like she's meant for, you know, go lickety split. That's what she does. So, and I can understand that. So do, doing a lap quilt as a gift for people like that, the, you know, 50s, the, you know, the, the 55s, the 40s. Mm, 12 degrees warmer. <laughs> Yeah, it, Alberta's been really, really cold there, Pat Rebbe-Schneider. I had the chief of police in mind, yeah? <laughs> our, our la my landlord, or our landlord, when I, I was growing up, with, uh, my mom and my sisters, um, he, he was the chief of police for the outskirts of Calgary, so. Mr. Henning, he's a good guy. He taught me gardening. I liked it. I liked it. I liked that he taught me gardening. I really like your business card I found in my parcel. Oh, you're welcome. I send one to everybody. Just in case they forget who it came from. <laughs> you get this random thing in the mail and you're like, where's that from? <laughs> I was green with envy for a moment there, people. Then it passed. <laughs> Uh, Zach did so brilliantly, and as did this is John. This is John with their unwavering. So I know, right? 110% backed him up, ironed, fixed, clean, polished, you name it. You name it. Yes, it's official. A deputy sheriff in the family. I love it. I love it. That's so proud. <laughs> um, Alright, now this one needs to go. So it lines up this way, I believe. I believe I can fly. I can't believe I can touch the sky. All right, let's do 17. And then you get to see a bit of my covers with the last one, 16. See what I'm working with. What am I having some fun with? Kelly Quilts and Cruises Valerie, Juicy, Happy Days, Happy Day, Heart Shake. <laughs> nice. Uh, loved yesterday's bag. Oh, thank you, Linda Lindsay. It was uh, someone else's UFO, which I was happy to tidy, uh, finish off. And uh, I did get some really good ideas in the chat. I did scan over it a little bit before, uh, or before stream today. So there was um, even some comments that were left about maybe putting uh, like a rope inside or putting a recessed zipper. I think Pat Strawhouse said a recessed zipper would have worked too. So, hello, PL. Thank you very much for your support on Twitch. Big hugs to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. So let's give this press. Like I said, this shouldn't take too long. Uh, only when it comes to like the bits and bits and bits in the middle part where it's gonna take a little bit longer. Take a little bit longer. Please, please. Stay. There we go. Just don't know why I said I'm lining up. Hello. Are you sure I had the right cuts on that one? Oh no, it was, I had it wrong way. Okay, my bad. We're good. 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 Stop panicking. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, Miss Practically Creative. Big hugs to you. Now, a reminder to all uh, the uh, members, the paid members of our channel, whether you're on Twitch, our guild website, or on YouTube here. And we thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. We really can't do it without you. Um, we're having a Zoom on Wednesday. It'll be in the afternoon for about eh, three, three, four hours. So make sure you're watching your places for your posts of the information, please. And please do not share it with anybody who should be shared with. Appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> All right, stay hydrated. No, Jill. No. It's not wrong. <laughs> it's okay. 
Incredible Hulk I thought was going to appear through your window. Oh, with the one I went all green there? <laughs> I should have. <laughs> it's okay to pet, caress, sniff, and even cuddle fabric. I approve. Check. Oops. <laughs> I think it's just water. Hello, Denise. How you doing? Good day, everyone. Have a great day. We'll catch the replay. Okay, well, bye. Thanks for coming and going. Too bad we can't keep you. <laughs> I saw the notice for your live yesterday after it was over. <laughs> they, I, we've been told that quite a few times that it, that it pops up after. It's like, what? Yeah. God love YouTube, right? Hello, Mom, Pop, Marcus, and everyone. Uh, Marcus is in the house. He might be in the chat. I'm not 100% sure. But he was very happy kid with me coming home with his dad yesterday, so... And chicken, but you know, I'm sure it was more as that. No, it was chicken. <laughs> we had uh, shrimp, white fish, and salmon uh, mixed, just a little gabobulation for lunch. I thought that was really good, tasty, and nutritious. So. Hi, LL Poppin' Chatter, sorry I'm late. You're never late. You're right on time, girl. Right on time. Hello, Annie M. Uh, and do you have to have video or audio as a member joining? No, you don't. You can just come and hang out and lurk. That's totally, totally fine. We had someone, a couple people actually show up last time, um, but they didn't say anything. I'm like, please come in and say something. It's open. There's no, like, waiting room or nothing. Just come on in. Just come on in. Hello, Marie. I saw you up there, Robin Marie. Just checking in. Please, please, thumbs up. Please what? Please, please, please. I'm glad I'm not the not not on my own. Uh, oh, oh. oh, for the loving of the fabric? No. It's part of the club. <laughs> I think it's actually a requirement. <laughs> you can come and hang out and just and just lurk. If that's if that's what you want, it's just some company. Uh, uh, or actually to put the, the voices to the People in your head. <laughs> come, come here. <laughs> It'll be fun. I've been working on the the guild member project for um the for for the for for, for somebody's gonna win it. So somebody's gonna win it. I'm excited. We've had a, a few past winners in the chats, so. And I, I do try my best to put the quilt project together and make it beautiful and and um, and quilt it up nicely. Uh, I do do my best sometimes, you know. Well, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to claim I'm perfect at all. But I do give it my very best, best effort. Hello, Chloe. Every, hi, everyone. How is everyone? I'm doing fantastic, and I'm glad to see you. Thank you very much for hanging out with us today. Oh, Joyce. Hello, Laura Lynn Pop. And everyone, she says... Mm -hmm. I don't want to miss anybody. Oh, Pamela, Pamela Mitchell, what you doing there, girl? I see you. What you doing? Hmm? What you got going on? It's always great to have faces into the voices. I know, right? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so make sure I got my thing going the right way. And I do. Okay, so let's let's put this one together, and then all you guys will see all my colors, my five colors I'm using for this project. You don't have to use five; you can use one. You could use an awesome. Uh, I, it's not a jelly roll friendly, unfortunately. The cuts are two and three quarters, so not jelly roll friend, jelly roll friendly. Did you see one way? I did, Samantha Savage. I did. If you are a paid member of our channel, you betcha. Zoom, zoom, zoom. On Wednesday, on Wednesday, zoom, zoom, zoom. On Wednesday, on Wednesday. Come join us on Wednesday, on Wednesday. If you want to meet your imaginary friends. <laughs> but she doesn't have to name us. We all got names already. The hard part's already done. 
Okay, is that a salvage heart block there? No, no, here, I'll show it. I'll show it. I'll show it. So Cynthia Cook wanted to see it too. I did show it at the beginning, but I'm happy to show it again. I just wanted to get this part done so you can see what I's be doings and what colors I'm working for this beautiful heart. So what we have on the wall behind me is a miniature of this big project that we're doing. I have shrunken it. I have the cuts. If you go exclamation cuts, cut, cut list, sorry, exclamation cut list could be the, the ones for the mini one behind me. Hold on, Mr. The box not running. That's oh. what I was saying. Oh, okay. I thought the it was. Has self -destructed. It's self-destructed. <laughs> That's not good. All right. Okay. Just ignore what I just said. <laughs> Alright, okay, so here, there's what I got going on for this uh, color scheme, okay, and it is, it's going the right way, we got a little uh-uh that way, uh -uh, and then we go this way, uh-uh, so, yep, yeah. oh no, I guess that should have been flipped, hold on, oops, hold on, I don't think it really matters, this is what's happening, alright people, okay, okay, alright, <laughs> it's gonna look just fine. <laughs> the basic bits are there. Pointy at the bottom, chubby at the top. <laughs> okay, and it's just, I've already quilted it up, it's all finished. Super duper easy. Okay, I'm gonna go overhead. I like red and gray today together too. Definitely. I totally agree with you there, Mad Geek. I'm watching you, Lamela, but I got to get my machine unpacked to start. Ooh, yay! Fun, Pamela. Fun, fun, fun. Isn't that cute? So, yeah. And it was just done with some of this fabric that I had here. I just cut all the bits, cut them at one and a half, and then I had a big, big, huge chunk of this. So, uh, yeah, the salvage pieces would look great. Yeah, your mission, if you choose to accept it. <laughs> Oops, I didn't want to throw that down in there. But yeah, it's cute, isn't it? And you don't have to put the, the loops on it either. You can just have it. It's a cute little dolly quilt too. Sorry. Did you guys see that? Because it was on the other camera. Oh, I hope you did. I don't know what I'm doing now, so. No, I, I don't know what I did. I don't know where I was in the flipping of the cameras, so, because you're busy. <laughs> Mm. You had to send yours off to be fixed as well there, Night Owl? Uh-oh. Hi, in Quilt Fix. How you doing? I'm here. I made it. Yay, yay, yay. Big heaven wave. Hi, oh, hey, weaving at you too. It's about time. Freckle past the hair, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You see it? Okay, good. I'm like, did I hit the button before you even go? I'm like, seriously? Uh. Okay. Awesome. So those are my colors that I'm working with. So why is this one's that one? Oops. Uh, hold on. One, two. Okay, that knot is correct. But this one, I think this one needs to be flipped. So, cause no, cause those two line up. Should I've had it that way? Oh no, they were. Hold on. There we go. But that's still that way, and not that way. But do I really care? Mm. 
No, because I think it's still going to look nice. Okay. Yes, yeah, auto. Okay. I was like, did I hit the wrong camera and you guys just didn't see anything right there? <laughs> uh, sometimes. I agree with the red and gray. Just earlier this week, I rewatched your 2017 videos making the red and green uh, scrap coat. That is actually on our uh, Mama Pop Quilt Shop homepage. That was one of my very, very favorite projects. And in fact, my scrappy bag that I made as we were doing that. I think it was like three or four quilts into that. The scrappy bag got made. The jelly roll bag. I did the rest of this quilt. But I can't burn anything when I want to find it. <laughs> but yeah, they were all leftover bits from that project. Yeah, it was really nice. That was the base of the bag. Yeah, black, white, red, gray. Those colors all look really, really nice together. I think that's why I love Pop's um, dueling pianos, the dance floor uh, of the Jacob's Ladder. Hello, Peggy Lynn. How you doing? Good afternoon, Laura Lynn. Popping everyone in chat, she says. Hmm, I can see that as a baby quilt. Would be so cute. For sure. <laughs> oh, what happens when you're chatting? What a miss. I had enough saved stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That can't. That doesn't make sense. Mom is confused. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Mom is very confused. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. This is not lighted up quite the way I was anticipating. But that's okay. Let me get a look. Let me get a look. Make it work. Take a little longer. Make it work. All right, attach this to the this, and then we'll have five, five rows, I tell you. Just rewatched uh, your how to make a duvet cover. How to make a duvet cover. Do you remember that one? No, I don't remember that. We have 1,200. Hello, Catherine. Hello, hello. Ça c'est bien? Mm, ça c'est bien. Bonjour. Oh, allo? Just finished the baby quilt too, and it used gray and oh, gray and yellow are lovely. Gray, yellow, and like mint green. Those are fantastic if you're not sure what what like what it's gonna be, right? So I love those, love those colors. Okay, so now we're gonna put these two together, and we're building our heart from the bottom up. Uh, we, I, we, we do have the cut list for the small one, and um, we do have a pair, share pattern. We're just trying to fix the bot at the moment so to be able to help. Be right back. I need to get my pajamas. It might be working right now. You want me to ask somebody to test it? Sure. Could someone test the bot, please? Uh, exclamation cut list and exclamation pattern. You would be so kind just to make sure that those are working now. Because his pop said it went borked. <laughs> Bonjour, comment ça va, ça va, Catherine? Pam, I can't wait to get mine back from the shop. It's only been four months since it's been. Oh my gosh. I would go bat poop crazy night out. I would have bought another one from Walmart. I would have bought a hand crank. <laughs> Oh, okay. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, I think it's all one word there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, peoples. Thank you, peoples. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Spam it. I didn't know everybody was going to do it. I just wanted someone to test it. <laughs> okay, so there you go. There's your information. Hey, Deb Taylor. Nice to see you. Hello, Katie. Big hugs. Big hugs. Hey, Tracy H. Happy to see all you lurkers. Hello, Tamara. How you doing? Welcome, welcome to the chat. Oh, oh, please share where you're at. If you want. You don't have to. It would be nice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> 
I know I probably did a really bad job on that, Catherine, but I try. Okay. <laughs> I try. Pop would say I'm trying, but you know, it's okay. Yeah, those should get you. So the cut list is what I did as on cutting this pattern. I, it went from 50, 50 by 55 to uh, 24 by 24. So that's how I, I got it. Or 24 by 26 or something. I don't know. It's close enough. It's cute. Oh, Jennifer Willis. I just having fun lurking there. Well, I'm glad you at least had fun We're lurking. Turkey lurker -y. Here we go. There's a bottom. bottom. Bottom of our heart beats for you. Alright. Let's do 15 and 14. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to fold it so I don't get confoozled. Because we know how that is. We get confoozled easily. long and the short. Um, the bag I did yesterday is pretty awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. It turned out amazeballing. So cute. Oh, oh, Catherine, I came up with it. My, I made my own French word yesterday. I did. I made my own French word. I was looking for the word of brooch, and I called it a broche. <laughs> I said, a nice broche would look good there. Bob's like, what? <laughs> a what? <laughs> Chat's like, what? <laughs> a brooch. That's what I meant. A broche. <laughs> Super cute. I really like it. I think a snap would look good, too. So and it turned out really nice. There has been a couple of suggestions of just rolling it so it's the it's nice and even here instead of the lining showing like it says by half an inch so hello alexandria welcome to the chat hello irish soup for lunch oh nice we had we had seafood stuff and then just doing a nice stitch on here it's also been suggested uh eileen woodall i believe suggested putting like a rope in here to stabilize all this so i'm like mm, so many suggestions it turned out really cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, someone else's UFO became now mine. So, not my UFO, but I bet. Yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And it's colors, I know. Pretty, 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 pretty. Hello, Mary H. from Twin Cities, Minnesota. Six degrees Fahrenheit. You must be freezing your katushi off. Shelly Clark Math Geek, that sounds pretty. Mine is in rust and ice blue. I took the colors from abstract painting we have. Ooh. Ooh. Rust and ice blue. That sounds pretty. Those are very nice colors. Thank you very much, Jenny Anderson. Is that a uh, bag mine? Thank you. <laughs> Had lots of people say, you know my address. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so cute. Oh, wrong end. Wrong end, Lord Lynn. Pay attention. Whew. That was close. It was close. Almost went down that rabbit hole. <laughs> I'm really happy with it, too. When I looked at it, I'm like, I don't even know what you are, but I'm saving you for, you know, when it, for on the Friday. I need you. So I, I didn't look over it at all, which you could probably tell, <laughs> but that's okay. That's what it is. I'm learning on the fly. In Bristol, Tennessee. All right, so we got the short and the long. Okay, so these two, let's give them some heat of love and then sew them together. I love it. I love it. Not cold. I'm inside with the heat on. Me too, as you can hear. Papa and I scooted out to the grocery store this morning just to grab a few things so we didn't have to go anywhere else the rest of, rest of the weekend. Um, we've got my um, infusion for my uh, Crohn's disease on Monday. 
Um, so here's hoping that the meds in my body are doing its job and I don't have to be increased or decreased. I'm just, I'm good to where I am because that would be nice to just to get used to something instead of everything constantly changing. So yeah, we have to focus on that and then hopefully, I'm hoping that we can get our car back next week. At this point, it looks like we're going to get a, a different vehicle on Tuesday, no matter what. Hello, Maureen. Hi, Ella. Everyone, she says, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Talking about living room colors. Oh, that sounds nice. The rust in the green, uh, the blue in, as living room colors? Not, as, not a quilt? I thought you were talking about a quilt. Hello, Nikki D from mid-Missouri, 11 degrees right now. I'm sending you all some warm thoughts. <laughs> Because you probably just don't know what to do with yourself. It's so cold. Us, it's just another winter. <laughs> Though I have to say, I've been I've been really chilly this year. But I don't know if it was just, you know, I don't know if I remember being chilly last year. But, yeah. Uh, Lebanon, Oregon. That's where Chloe's from. Okay, so now we're going to press these guys. I am, when it comes to this light one here with the little arrows on it, I am going to push it to the red. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand the temperature was cold in France. <laughs> we're Celsius here too, so. I'm close to Chattanooga. Oh, Chattanooga. Isn't it a, uh, oh my gosh, Alan Jackson. Ch Chattanooga choo-choo. What's that? That's a song. I know it is. I didn't make that up. I'm not sure if I could say that. <laughs> okay, this goes here and this goes here. Yes. 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 All right. So those two together. It's pretty, isn't it? Which one? The the. Hold on. Mm, let's go. Which one? This red. Or this red. This red is my number one red for my pick, and then this red was number four for pick, and this was number five for my picks. Because you just need five colors, right? And you could do this in all, you know, blues, greens, and purples. You know, I think it would look really good. Just finished cleaning out my bedroom closet. Now I will sit and enjoy the show. Very nice. Good for you. Good for you. I gotta take all the the summary stuff out of my dresser <laughs> put that in the closet because I'm still there's some capris and tank tops in there I'm like I don't really need you right now <laughs> I need my woolly pants um, I'm south of Chicago oh my gosh Deborah you must be so cold uh, I rotate my quilts in the living room depending on the season on the back of the sofas um, my quilt like very nice Shelly yep we, I put, um, do you remember the one I did with the half hexes and made it like, uh, Laurelyn's little garden or a little garden, whatever we, and then we did the hexy on the border and the edge and did the hexy binding and stuff like that. So yeah, that's on the, the kitchen table. That's our, that's our tablecloth. Mm -hmm. I would, uh, we're under a wind chill warning here in Florida. That sounds so weird. Like, that just sounds like wind chill in Arizona or something. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely below freezing. That is, that is cold. It's cold and in their hills. Oh, 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 hook my shirt. Going with my project. Let's turn this on machine. <laughs> Never push, push to the dark, but most of the reds are dark. But it's that one bit of white, or little pop of white I have in there, besides the, the dotted one. Yeah. 
Alan Jackson, one of my favorites. Mine too. Mine too. Grew up, grew up with Alan Jackson. Alan Jackson sings about the Chattahoochee River. There we go. Flows from North Georgia Mountain through Atlanta. I knew, but I wasn't sure if I was allowed to say the that the the hoochie part. <laughs> wasn't sure. Is that like is that a bad word in some places? I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was allowed to. <laughs> Uh, this year I'm feeling the cold as, uh, so much that I'm ordering fleece lined everything. Oh, really? Hey, you have to, you have to. Um, I, I think for all those years, like 12 years as a crossing guard in um, Ontario, you, you, you learn to put your layers on and you know the value of a good jacket, good boots, and, you know, toque and, and scarf and, and mitts or gloves or something like that, right? So... Uh, I found mitts were better because I kept my fingers together and it kept the warmth. And then, then my thumb, when it got really cold, I just took my thumb out and popped it with my, my fingers and then, you know, held my stop sign underneath my armpit or whatever. So, yeah, that was the way to, to keep warm and doing the little tap, tap, foot, tap, dance, you know, keep your feet going, keep your toes moving. Yeah, that sounds like way too cold. I don't, I don't, I'm, it, hug a water bottle, people. <laughs> That's all, that's all I got to say. Hug a water bottle. Okay, now you should be here. Let's do this. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ooh, this is looking so cute already. Yeah, I'm in Plant City, Florida with the strawberries, which means I see icicles uh, on the trees and strawberry fields in the, in the morning. Oh, wow. Oh, well. Sorry. It's okay. Pops too good into things. <laughs> Those the treatments really keep your... Yes, they do. Yes, they do, because they're together. They're, they're, like, you, and the same with your toes. Like, they, as long as they're together, it's, it's much better. Much better together, people. Much better together. So, all right. So, exclamation cut list for the small heart, okay? And exclamation pattern for the big heart, okay? Exclamation, the cut list is one that I've done. I've shrunk it so you could do a small pattern. Uh, and, yeah. So, um, uh, I have a couple blue snow themed quilts that will have to wait until next January as I won't have them quilted this year. Some of the rainbow colored ones get folded with certain colors facing out. Oh yeah, okay, I see what you mean. So the tops, tops lay there. Uh, for a while there, when I did all my quilts on a domestic machine, um, I pinned them. I pinned the ones like I maybe only had one or two, two maximum at the same time because I would hand stitch them or put them under here. I would pin them and then I would hang them. I would hang them over things just to, as a temporary spot to put them. You could still use them because it was just a base, uh, ba either base stitched or safety pinned, and I closed them. Um, but uh, yeah, LL speaking of mitts, do you still have the leather ones? I say yes, I do. Yes, I do, my dear. The tan, the tan colored one. Actually, they're at the back door in the house. So Pop was using last time he had to snow blow. Indeed, indeed. They were like the, the yellowy tan ones, if I remember correctly. Hello, Lily. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, cutlass, there you go, perfect. Love my flannel line jeans. Ooh, flannel line jeans. Yes, definitely layers. Used to be like um, lawn johns and then like uh, sweatpants and then it was like uh, a windbreaker pants and then I put my my outdoor outdoor pants on so I kind of like a little state puff marshmallow man but I was doing my best <laughs> mm -hmm. how do you have the gloves and cattle around us lots of uh, fans and water being hauled in here I bet I bet Last time I saw cold like this, 37 years ago, around Christmas time. Really? Wow. Yes, those gloves still get used there, Miss PC Tracy. Thank you very much. What are you doing? What are you doing? So 
So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven rows here, so it's only 13 more to go, people. Okay. Okay. So we're piecing our heart. Oh, they definitely, they definitely are. Yes, I know you said you couldn't use them for some reason. I think uh, they made your hands too hot or something? I don't remember. I, don't, I remember there was a reason why you couldn't use them. I'm like, I totally adopt you. <laughs> you are mine. <laughs> and thank you very much for thinking of my warm fingers. I agree, you ran a horse farm for 10 years? Yeah, I bet. I was a crossing guard for two. You were, Vicky? You were? I enjoy it. I, I, I enjoyed it. I apologize. It was uh, the nutcases and uh, lots of mm -mm that I like to wave my finger at that were not obeying the rules of traffic. That's, that's what I had enough of. I had enough. People didn't care. So on to row 13, 14, sorry. No, we've done that. We've done that one. Up oh, one, here we go, 13. I was so honored when my sister-in-law presented me with a redwood double-sided quilt ladder. I, ladder, sorry. I have only uh, the most, those ain't going nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, uh, so 13. So here we go. This is what we have so far. Okay. So I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin this to the wall behind me and then work on some other chunk of row and then we'll attach it, okay? So let's just put this up here. We'll just stick it right here. There. And there. Mm. Sign <laughs> love and type people. I never forget you saying that the other day. <laughs> Test a little bit of love with my sign. That's all I wanted to do there, Annie. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little loving. Well, I said to I said to one lady when a, a guy almost clipped me one day as I was I, my sign was out. The lights were flashing. I was just waiting for people to stop to make sure before those kids even went anywhere. I, me first. If anybody's going to get squished or mischief, it was going to be me. Right, so I was waiting for, and he just flies on past, and I thought all I really had to do was just like this with my sign, and I would have scraped his precious brand new shiny truck. And then I thought, how is he going to explain that to the police officer, the insurance company? Hmm. Yeah. How do you explain that, right? Mm -mm. Hello, Tracy Albert. Welcome, welcome. Yes, exclamation pattern for the big one there, Karen Jones, and exclamation cut list, all one word, for the small one. That one right there. That we made. And I, I have the I made those cuts for you guys. Saved you the trouble figuring it out. Uh, so yeah. Cool. Good fun, good fun. Okay, so 13. 13. All right, give these a little press. Uh, last time I saw cold like this was a kid in 1976. Would have had snow for half a day. Oh my goodness, wow, it's been a while then. Uh, all right, so we got our, and I, okay, those, that's one on either side. And then we have our one, which is this fabric, right? And then we have our two, which is this fabric, and then this one here. Is that three? One, two, three. One, two. Three. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Just making sure. <laughs> uh, and not everyone is as nice uh, as we are in this room. What? Oh, oh, you mean people in general, right, Maureen? Is that what you meant by? Because I'm like, if somebody's talking bad about anybody in my chat, anywhere else, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I will fluff you like a marshmallow. <laughs> Just 
Just up there, glad to see you. Glad to see you too, Linda Davis. Glad to see you too. Uh, been put out. LL Bean puts out fleece lined jeans. They're really. I'll have to check them out. Do they have like my size? Plump and delicious? Because that's the kind of size I need. Just say it. <laughs> I need the plump and delicious size. <laughs> Put another piece on here. Ah, oh, thank you, Denise. I enjoyed it, and the kids appreciated it. I got along great with the kids. I got a great along with the parents. I heard lots of stories about the parents from the kids. <laughs> I knew secrets I really shouldn't know, but I did. <laughs> they, they shared a lot, more than they should have. There was lots of TMI information going on, and uh, yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, fluff you like a marshmallow. <laughs> and if you're tall, I'm not afraid to climb you either. <laughs> I might need a step stool first. I got a bum knee. So if I got a little up on the situation, it will be better. <laughs> uh, serious. Serious. <laughs> I just made it up. <laughs> it's kind of like harmless, but not so harmless all at the same time. It's like you mean business, but you don't really. You don't, you don't want to have to take that action. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so let's just make sure this piece fits. Uh, I think we're happy with the, is that that one? Is that one? Anyways, whatever. Whatever that way is going, it's going to go. Okay. Uh, three is this way. Okay. All right, 12. So remember 12 here. Look at this. So you don't get confoozled. Okay. 12 right there on this row 12. It has this one. It's not supposed to be gray. This is supposed to be a, a pink, like the one. So it's just a, a typo in the filling of the, the pattern, okay? So make sure you make note that that is supposed to be a pink, okay? Or whatever you're using for one. I, you know what? That is a fan. No, it's bubbles or something. I, I, I knew I should have kept a bit of the salvage, but I don't think I did. No. No, I didn't keep any of the salvage. Not that I'm gonna see if I can find something here. No. Oh, oh, hold on. It is Louis Irene. It is Louis and Irene. Sorry. Well, it says Louis Irene on here. And I know it was called Bubbles or something. Bubble Berries. DB, D hyphen BB1. Or not hyphen, hashtag. Oh my goodness. Hello, Miss Pauline Fru. How you doing, my dear? Happy to see you here. Uh, so that's the gray. That's what I'm using on the outside, right? Bumbleberries. Oh, okay. Is it bumbleberries? Okay. All I got is a little bit of the berries. So I thought it was bubbleberries, not bumble, bumble. Bumble, bubble. <laughs> bubble, 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 butt. <laughs> All right. Three, one, and five for row 12. Okay. Angles. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. Uh, I did. It's the back to the frequency quilts that I did when Lois came to visit us uh, for our very first 12 hour stream. Um, and it's on the back of it. But I have some seam ripping or picking out th uh, threads to do on that one. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. All right, so let's put our this is our one, and 
then we have our... How did I get this one in there? Oops. I thought this was five. Oh, it is. I'm sorry. I was reading the wrong line. No wonder I was getting confused. Okay, so this one, this one, this one. Okay. This one, this one, this one. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, Giovanna. Welcome to the chat. The buckets uh, are handy for tall people. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I was tip on a bucket. <laughs> I went to the Toronto Illusion Museum this morning. It was okay. I wouldn't waste my money again. Oh, really? Well, that's kind of a bummer. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, oh, there we go. And then... No, this. Did I seriously pop it up already? I'm wrong already? I'm on 12, right? So, 3... One in there. Okay, I did have it right. Just wrong order. For some reason, I thought the white was in the middle. It doesn't have to be. Maybe the gray piece is from clothing uh, of a loved one of the pattern creator. Need that gray piece? What gray piece? Did you don't come up. I'm confused. on here that's outside right now uh, nothing really too exciting on that part it is a cute heart isn't it uh, exclamation pattern for the big one or exclamation cut list for the small one and we should be even on side to side no we should just be good here in size well it is going to be smaller they're going to be smaller Yeah, it snowed a little bit this morning. It got warm enough just to snow a little bit this morning. So. But it didn't snow much, and this really hasn't stuck, so. I have to say, what I, I like and it's fun to watch is um, as we pa pass over the causeway to get to New Glasgow, there, there's the seas on both sides, right? But on the, I guess the bay side, or what do they call that? I don't know. On the other side of the bridge, where it's not like directly right out to the ocean, ocean. Um, they, it, it, when the water freezes on top, a little bit, right? But then the waves still happen, so it's like the ice is moving in a wave. It's really, I love it. It looks, it looks weird and freaky and kind of cool all at the same time. It looks nifty. All right, so now this one should be up there. Yes, we are. Let's stick it to this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How do we like it? How do we like it? Ooh, 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 ooh. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Oh, it's not. It's supposed to be even there. Okay, I was like... When they give you edge that lines up straight on top of each other, you think you've done something wrong, but you haven't. It's okay. Just keep on trucking. Hello from Montana. Enjoy uh, the sound. Oh, well, thank you, Sue Swanstrom. Thank you, thank you. We've got a dusting overnight. No accumulation. Yeah, it's us too. I'm afraid that we're just going to get a poop load. So when we first moved here, okay, we, we bought sight unseen, okay? 96 plus acres, tiny little house, not very big. You can ask Allison, Gwenny, uh, Lois, um, uh, Pat Straw House. She's been there too in the chat. Um, it's not a, it's not a big house. It's not a big house. Uh, lo lots of land, but not a big house. So when we came out to the shop, because one of the selling features features was a 40 by 20 foot shop, right? And then it's got a nice like um, 10 by or 8 by 
40 lean-to on the side part, right? Where it's great for chickens and storing stuff and everything. We came into the shop and was looking everything over and on the garage door, you have to come up two steps to get into the shop, okay? And on the garage door, on the inside of it, because this was a wood shop, was markings taller than me. So I'm already up to two or so steps from outside. Then I'm standing next to a garage door and then there's markings like up here, like up here, here on the door and the year of where the snow was or that year for how then the snow was accumulated. I'm like, what? I look at Pop and I'm like, did you see those? Where did we move to? <laughs> what the, what's happening here? <laughs> and at first thought it was like, I'm gonna have to build this little tunnel going from the shop to the house. <laughs> Like, you know, when you build those things when you're a kid, <laughs> just to keep digging a hole in the snow. <laughs> That's what I thought was going to happen. Eventually it will, because it has happened here in the past. Several years, in fact. <laughs> so it will happen here. <laughs> but that did make me go, what? <laughs> Told Hody that we were going to get dumped on when we. That's exactly what I think we were too. I was just hoping it didn't happen while Pop was away. Because I cannot use the snowblower. I do not have the leg strength to lift and lower or do the shoot the thing and bob and whatever. It's the mowing machine. Yeah, having snow taller than you is not a selling feature that I saw in the ad for the house, okay? I didn't see that. <laughs> but we have we have a generator, it's full of gas. We got two extra can tanks with gas. We've, we've got dehydrated food galore. We've got bottled water. Like if something were to happen, we, we we're prepared. Uh, which fabric are you talking about? Oh, Jill, where can you go? Oh, Jill, 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 yeah, Jill. Uh, they do it in shades of gr uh, sh range, range of shades. I have a little of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, because that was great. I've seen it in red, but, and then when I saw, it's, no, it's from Northcott. That's where I bought mine from, I'm pretty sure. Um, because I bought a whole bolt of it to do with the backing of that quilt, so. Like I said, I probably got about 10 hours of seam ripping or thread ripping to do on that, that quilt because I, I, I quilted it and I wasn't happy. It's not that I wasn't happy. When I went, I took it off the long arm to do another quilt and then we moved the long arm and then when I reloaded it, it kind of got askew on the bottom at the back loading and I didn't notice it and then I just went to go quilt it. So some of it's like folded and... Uh, it stressed me out. So I literally take just taken off and I'm like, eventually I will get to it. But I just need to, that should be one of my UFOs. What I work on at least maybe a half an hour a day. It's not too hard to pop it on the table here because it's a big one. And then work on it. Maybe I should do that like at end of stream. Just so I know I get that done at least two times a week. <laughs> on Tuesday and <the> Saturday. <laughs> All right. All right. So that would be this way. That would be this way. Oh, it's gonna be pretty. All right, we're almost halfway there, people. Halfway there. Da -da -da. Yeah, what do we have in Lynn? Uh, looking and watch him in the kitchen now as I cook dinner. All ingredients for peppermint. Nice, nice. What did we have last night? Oh, chicken breast and rice. Eek, I would be in a whole lot of what uh, did we do? <laughs> yeah. It was a moment of, am I the only one seeing this? Because it's kind of faded, but not fa not too faded. You can see where it says snow and a line and then the year, right? There was 77, uh, 84, no, oh, sorry, 87, 84, uh, like 90 something. There's a couple of two or three in the 90s. And there's four or five between 2000, 2010. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> 1978, the snow in Indiana was above the roof. I climbed out my second floor bedroom with a sled down the night. <laughs> Score! I'd be happy with that. Okay. 
Now let's get our color sections in order. Not out of order, we want them in order. Okay, so this is two and this is four. Two and a four and a six and an eight. Uh, did you keep the measurements? What you mean, Pauline? What you mean, girl? Dinner smells amazing here. I'm trying to crock pot and marry me. Chick oh, I heard about that one there, Kathleen. You have to tell me about that. Maybe if you can pop in on Zoom. Oh, no, you, uh, you, know, you said you wouldn't be able to do Zoom until the end of the year or until if we were done in a couple of years. Uh, okay, it's even on both sides. Okay, doesn't matter, right? Right, okay. The measurements uh, of the cell. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, I, I, I will. If it gets that high, I will. Oh, oh, you mean on the from the garage door? No, I didn't. No, when we took the garage door out, it was, it was when we were getting the floor done, and I was m maybe I don't even think I was out of the hospital three weeks by that. So by that time, so it was just before Allison and uh, Lois were coming to do the twelve hours for Pop and Munchkin and I. Snowing less and less in the world, and yet some places you find it's snowing more there, Giovanna, or the weather's getting colder, like in Tennessee and Texas, where in Florida, where it's freezing, and they, that's not usually something they they um, they have to deal with. Right. No sledding for you. <laughs> Uh, uh, loves the marry me chicken, but I've never done it in the crock pot. I will have to try. I've, I've heard rave reviews about it. There was a couple of cooking shows that all, all you did could see was the, this marry me chicken. And something about the, um, was it million dollar lasagna or spaghetti and meatballs or something? I don't know. That's, that's supposed to be another big one too. Okay, let's put this one here. Here, hold on, what are we supposed to be with two and a four? Two and a four, because that goes this way, right? Right, right, okay, we're good. Now 10, 10, row 10, people. No, I should have, I should have actually. I'm not sure if I actually took a picture. I think I've actually might have taken a picture of the garage door, but that would have been before I realized it was coming down, so. Yeah, even, even three weeks after surgery, I wasn't moving very fast or doing much of anything. <laughs> risotto! Mmm, nice. I haven't had risotto in, like, a long time. I was going to say, what the hell for my water? Million dollar spaghetti. Okay, that's what it is. Thank you, Deborah. Uh, if you look it up there, Patty, you, know, you should find lots of um, um, uh, recipes online. Uh, so, uh, There's a question at the top of the screen above Lynn Bylas's and Peggy Lynn's that I missed. It said something about mom and pop. Question mark, so. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Okay, good times, eh? Working on it. <laughs> I think that MM chicken would, would be instant pot worthy. Yeah, probably. Uh, maybe actually it's in my the recipe book. Maybe not. I don't know. Couldn't decide if I wanted to cook chili or American goulash. Took a vote. Needless to say, I'm cooking both. <laughs> I just sort it out. This covers tomorrow's. Mm, exclamation pattern there, Keemer. Or Kimi. Kimi. Ki. Kim. Kimi ma. Kima. Kima ma. Okay. These guys, we're working on 10, so it's four, one, and five. So four, one, and five, okay. Four, one, and five, four, one, and five. And I like the little arrow fabric. It just kind of really uh, sets this little heart off. Exclamation pattern. It's all there. That's for the big one that I'm doing right now. This, this guy right here. 
and the big version. Or if you go cut list, you get the small one behind me. Okay. And the pieces are one and a half. Okay. The like the length of them, or the, sorry, the width of them is one and a half. Oh, Kelly quilts. A bit of paperwork and got my shower. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, okay, uh, it's not uh, going because the bot is a little uh, kerfugled at the moment. So I'll let you know when it's up, or maybe you can scroll back through chat um, and uh, see, if, see if you can click the link from there. Okay. And are we even on both sides for this one? Uh, yes, we are. Okay. So we're having issues with the bot right now, so sorry. The whole computer right now, Pop says. So, un momento, un momento. Sorry, sorry, I forgot that the system's a little buggered at the moment. Sorry, or not, not working at the moment, but Pop is working on it. Uh, but looking for a new crock pot recipes and came up. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, there you go. So, Pop, interesting that it's just, um, set as a, oh, it's working. It looks like it's working. Bernie got it to go. Bernie Ranger got it to go. Now, oh, this is gonna look so darn cute. Oh my goodness. Who wouldn't want this beautiful little heart? Okay. Found a chicken on YouTube, we'll watch it later. Okay, there you go, Pat Ada. It does sound good. Um, I think there was a few, there, uh, was there peppers in it? Maybe that's why, what, what's in it? I'm trying to think, maybe I read the recipe and I, I, I was like, maybe stuff I couldn't have. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, hello, Lee Allen. I had not heard of Marry Me Chicken. Had to go look it up. Sounds awful good. <laughs> <laughs> awfully good. <laughs> I can't remember the ingredients right at the moment. I have seen it pop up. Sun-dried tomato? Oh, no, I can have that. Well, maybe the seeds. The seeds I can't. Yeah, maybe that was it. pattern there's actually quite a few lovely heart projects on that page I think there's like 10 or 12 of them uh, and I can see probably doing at least two or three of them so no what I'm so disappointed <laughs> you better shake your finger at him looks delicious Ooh, is everybody I'm gonna have to take on this Mary because you know chicken is like my main diet now people Lining you up, it's looking so pretty. Lining you up, looking spiffy. Lining you up. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. So the mini, the cut list is for the small one. I've done the math for you, okay. And then you just got to trim up the sides a little bit. It might be a little bit squaring up, just depending on your fabric and the tweaking of it and sewing and stuff like that. So just, just fiddle and have fun. Break out your stash. Have some fun. Use what you got. It's only about a, for the big one, takes um, just like a quarter of a yard and stuff like that for the pieces. And then for the small one, you're only looking at like fat quarters, right? So very easy. He's working six days a week. Oh, 
I, I can't eat tomatoes, but uh, I'd be, M, uh, I bet MM chicken, um, Mary Me chicken would be just as good with roasted red peppers instead of tomatoes. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what I could have instead of the, of that. So maybe, I don't know, I'd have to think about it. I guess if I de-seeded the tomatoes, it would be fine. Maybe just use a chopped tomato sort of thing. Hello, Sarah. Uh, how long will you be live today? Uh, until we finish this, we're, we're working on nine is next, or we've done nine? I'm not sure. We're not too long. However long this takes to put together, it shouldn't take too, too, too long, I don't think. But I saved about everything, and then like four hours later. All I know is that when it comes to making bags, you better allow triple the time you think it's going to take. <laughs> um, can I eat tomato sauce? Yes, I can have tomato sauce, as long as there's no seeds or no, no um, skin in it. So. And I'm not... And it, the, the skin part is only for just a little bit longer, maybe like another month or so. But the seeds, unfortunately, will be the rest of my life. So because of the Crohn's disease, right? It's got all the little holes in the, in the insides and then the seeds get in there. I don't need no sunflowers or tomatoes or even a watermelon growing in here, okay? Because <laughs> it's an ideal environment, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. <laughs> That's why it was a joke, right? Uh, Foo Mill Racer think uh, we'll remove tomatoes. Oh, that's a great idea, NEM. That's a great idea. I didn't even think about that. You people are so smart. So smart and loves it. The tomatoes and buy the whole ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then push them through. I was thinking of like whole tomatoes and through a sieve. So that's, you guys are like all on the same, same things. No seeds for me uh, from tomatoes either. I can't have just seeds in general, trust me. And because of my allergy to nuts, I was, I was a huge sunflower, pumpkin, you know, all sunflowers, uh, sorry, sesame seeds. All those things were, were, was like completely part of my diet on a daily basis. So, not anymore. Oh, that's looking so pretty. All right, we're going to stick these two together and see what we got. Okay. Tell us what we got, what we really, really got. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, yay, awesome there, Deborah. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's, it's life. It's life. I'd rather be here on the side of the grass, let me tell you, and, and not have seeds and not have, uh, you know, ground beef anymore and some pork anymore and stuff. I'd rather be here and have that. And I wouldn't, I don't want to say suffer because it's not suffering. It's, I'm, you know, I just choosing not to eat it. I can't. Right. So I'd rather do that than not be here at all. Right. So those are the life choices. <laughs> Fortunately, they were made for me. I can have a little bit of tomato sauce. Not a lot though. It's the, some of the acid too. It doesn't do well for the, 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 the system. So like a little bit, like a little bit. Okay, let's put those two sections together and then we'll see what the bottom part of our heart's looking like. Let's go back. Let's go back. You wanna know why? Because look. Look how look how shy that got right there. I, 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 I scooted when I shouldn't have. There we go. We don't want any weak seams, right? Teresa, have you tried venison? Uh, did we try? Yes, we did. 
Yes, we did. Not recently, but we have. No, not recently. It was probably with uh, maybe about four months after. Um, we had bison. We had bison. Yeah, I don't think we've tried venison, or did we? I don't not think we did. Recently. No, it was bison. I'm sure it was bison there, Wendy. So. Uh, what about creating a cold frame tunnel like uh, yeah we I would love to do that too we have we have this definitely the like the the, the space to do so I mean seriously so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah exactly definitely in the plans and now we know you know and I, I'm, I'm obviously feeling like a thousand percent better I mean so and, and and things will progress this year unfortunately everything was at a standstill last year so it's hard to stay motivated when, you know, your, your loved one is like dying. <laughs> so I don't, I don't, um, I don't blame pop for not, you know, just plugging away and just doing stuff. He was his main concern was looking after me. And, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's the way it should have been. So yes, here we go. Look at our heart. This would be a great one for the coach. Feeling all the love. I love it. It's beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. You should learn some learn Italian. You have a good accent. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's stick this back up on here. There and there. So that's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, twelve. Ooh. All right. We'll go nine. Look at us. Our little our little stack is getting smaller, people. So let's go nine and eight. Okay, let's lay those out. Yes, he did take care of you guys too. Yes. The very, very much so. Very much appreciated. I said I said I can't. I'm like I literally cannot. I can barely even get off the couch. I'm sorry, I can't stream. So, but trust me, I wanted to. You guys know me. If there was a reason why I wasn't here. It was a darn good reason. So, so um, Wendy, does um, your family member? I, I know who it is, but uh, does your family member have any issues at all? Like in, at all at all with with the the girls? Oh, <laughs> like wait a second. <laughs> Where you going? You could try venison or rabbit. Maybe someone locally sells. Oh no, thank. I'll pass on the rabbit. But um, definitely on the. I might try. I'll, I'll try. I'll try the venison. Hello, Lisa. Lisa. Hi, Mom and Papa. How you doing there, Lisa? Lisa. I almost called you Sister Lisa, but nope. I went to visit Victoria, Canada again someday. I went there in 1971 when I was 10 years old. Love everything there. I remember it as being very clean and pretty. It is a beautiful city for sure. That whole island, Victoria Island, is gorgeous. All right, summon number nine. Number nine, number nine. So we got five, three, two, and four. Five, three, two, and four. Five, three, two, and four. Five, three, two, and where's four? What am I doing? Oh, that's eight. I took eight out for some reason. What a way to throw me off. Oh, my goodness. Okay, no, you stay over there. Slow your roll. Nine first. Oh man, don't jump it ahead. Hey, Pepsi girl, Miss Viv's in the house, people. Hello, my dear. Happy to see you. Mm -mm. I'm allergic to rabbit fur, so I, I I do not want to try rabbit meat. So So can I ask the hive mind a non-sewing question? Mm. Go ahead. I'm ready. <laughs> Look at this battery. Me too, Sherlock. Thanks for, thanks for coming over. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> keep scooting down. Do what you gotta do, honey. Chat may disappear for a moment, but I'll just keep on working and talking, okay? Does anyone have experience with tankless water heaters? Yes. Yes, Pop does. We do have one. So. And we love it when it works. <laughs> no, it's not, yeah. It's uh, sometimes the, the, the system itself is a little got kafunky. 
Okay, so we need we need five, three, two, and four. Five, three, two, and four. Five, two, and four. Five, 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 three, two, and four. Is this four? Yeah, no, that's three. This is three. Four. Two, two. Five. <laughs> Don't. Hello, Rebel. I have one in my motorhome, says Rebel. Okay. Uh, I actually have three with Crohn's and one has had surgery and seems to be able to eat what he wants. The other two stay away from tomatoes. Sometimes they have trouble with ground beef too. I just, if it, it's just, it's like hurt to, it knows sounds weird, but it's hurt to process. It's just cause your body just can't anymore. It's, it's so diseased on the inside where it's supposed to process the ground beef and it just can't. So. I'm on both platforms, Mom. I thought you needed some confusion. <laughs> Thanks, Sherlock. <laughs> I appreciate that. <sighs> okay, hold on. Uh, two. This is two. Yeah. Four. <clears throat> Make sure you have someone who knows what they're doing to put it in. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Don't YouTube University that one. <laughs> If you, oh, sorry, if asked already, sorry, but uh, I, heart on walk in pink made with salvages cute. Oh, oh, the heart, no, 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 no. I know people seem to think it's with the salvages. I wonder why though, but it's not. Here, let me show you. An exclamation cutlass gets you the cutlass for the small one here. It's actually just made with some uh, fabric, okay? And I just cut the pieces out. I flipped and flopped and then just had some fun with it. So exclamation cutlass gets you the small one. I've already done the math for you on this one. If you go exclamation pattern, you're gonna get the big honking one, which is 50 by 60, okay? So in the fabric I used was this right here, and I just chopped it up, okay? And no worries, no worries, Lisa, Lisa, I'm happy to answer any questions that I can. You just made my little grandson very happy by saying hello. Oh, well, happy little Vibs, Vibs grandson. Hi, I'm sending you a big heart from Canada. A big heart. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. All right, now hopefully no fabrics are sticking to the bottom of this. <laughs> Let me put this back on the wall. Okay, it's ready. Sorry, it's all right. Okay, now, so that was the four and the two and then the three and the five. Okay, four, two, three and five, four, two, three and five. And I'm mixing batiks and cottons with this. I'm doing whatever I want. I really just stuck into my hand into the red bag and pulled out some stuff. on here, oops, this, this one here, and I have this cute little, with the arrows on it, isn't that adorable? So appropriate for this little arrow, uh, heart fabric. Alright. And then we just got the grays on either end, so we got two Just gonna press that. Let's go overhead and hang here. There we go. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, so far I think for the new year I've uh, kind of accomplished a little bit of what I've been wanting. I'm trying to get finished up some projects, trying to do some mini ones. 
um, and, and just generally have, some, have a good time working with my fabric. Okay, so we got this and this on either side of this one, row eight, and we need a four, a five, and a one. So we know this is the one, we know this is the five, and we know this is the four, okay? <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna go this to here. Sorry, sweetie? There's still an overhead. Yeah, that's okay. I'm, I'm in the corner too, because I'm going back and forth, so. Okay. It's all good. Just laying it out properly. So exclamation cutlass gets you the small one, <coughs> and exclamation pattern gets you the big one. two together. You could pin them all up beforehand and run them all through your machine lickety split, but that I didn't do that because I wanted to show you each each section. So alright, so I want to push this. Push it to the white. I don't I want to push it to the red. Okay. And as you can tell I even pieced fabric. I don't think it's really going to matter in the whole scheme of things on the end, so I think it's A-OK. -okay. Alright. Hold on. So, what did I do there? One, two, three. Oh yeah, okay. Sorry, I thought I did something wrong. But I didn't. But I didn't, didn't, but I didn't. Okay. So those two do line up here, but not over there. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, no worries, <laughs> Lisa. Lisa, I did. We did figure it out. I have my own language too. You can have your own language. I'm just learning. So, so clearly, I, I'm doing well. So I deserve an A. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. There you go. <clears throat> awesome. That, that's bigger too, isn't it? Yeah, it's much better to see. Okay. Zach said thank you for being for the hug and sends hugs. Oh, oh my goodness. Thank you, Viv. That's how we made my day. Thank you so much. Send in the love. Boop boop. Boop boop. here I want to make sure that this isn't folding this way I want to fold it this way because if we were to fold it this way you can see right there already because this light this white fabric is so light you don't want to see any of that self, um, seam if you if you can prevent it sometimes you can't and I understand that and don't, and don't let anybody tell you that it has to be one specific way you know sometimes the material is just going to do what the material is going to do okay. The travel distance from actual tankless to your sink and your tub should be the shortest distance possible. Yep. We put we put one in when we uh, bought the house here. They're Miss Practically Creative, and it's also our heating because it's a uh, hot water rated heating heating. So that's what we have in the house. Okay, so overhead. Give this a press, and then we'll get our seven and six ready to rock. We're almost there, people. We're almost there. Okay, so this one here is an example of I want to push this to the red side. But then we get this problem here where it's also. 
All right, it's kind of hard to pick and choose which way you're going to shift it. If you're in a mobile, you could probably handle a smaller one. Uh, you just have to remember to do one thing at a time. Uh, it's on demand, the hot water, so never whatever is demand is okay. Yeah, yeah, hot water waste. Okay, boot, boot. Okay, I think that's that goes that way. Yes, it does. Now we're here on seven. So we've got our seven. So this is almost all color except for a little tiny square at the end. Okay, so there. You do an amazing job, Pop. Thank you so much. You're the glue that keeps this show together. You are sticky. Come to the right situation, you are. Okay. <laughs> All right, one, two, and three. Don't start it. <laughs> you can't tell me not to start it. You've already started it. <laughs> I'm the one washing dishes and no one is showering at the time. Was that one, one, two, and four? Yeah. Okay. Do, do. <laughs> uh, Gianna, that's what I'm hoping we do have a well, but uh, we also have a whole house RO filter. Uh, oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so we just need this on the four end, right? Yes, okay, and then we're on to row six. This would be a great project to do with like a group or something like that. All making different colored hearts and stuff like that. Scrap, scrappy heart. Okay, so now we got six. Okay, got six, six, six. Do, 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 do. We got one in the middle and one on the end. Okay, so go middle and the end. And let's lay our fabrics out the way they need to be. We need a five, which is five is this one. There we go. So five, four, five, four, space two, space green. Okay, five, four, space two, space green. <laughs> or uh, gray. <laughs> No green in here. It's pretty. It's going to look so cute. If you guys behave yourself, <laughs> one day you might be able to win it. And it's only 20 rows, so it's not like super difficult. You could do the small one as a little project to, with somebody's learning how to sew. This pops face red. <laughs> He's the one who started it. <laughs> no. Pop doesn't blush easy. <laughs> Then on the end, and then that's row six done. We can stick it to seven, seven to eight, nine. Nice. Okay. Ha ha ha. Look at us go. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is a very smart group. It's all you guys, I mean. <laughs> So let's put this one and this one together. It goes this and this. This and yes. Line these guys up. Well, the fun thing is, is most of this is there's really no seam where they need to be specifically, specifically. Yeah, there you go, Teresa. 
cut this. We have a lot of experience with a lot of different things. Someone knows something or someone can better. That's exactly, exactly, Trees and Jukowitz. Exactly. Somebody knows something. Sometimes it's not always what you know, it's like who you know, right? That knows about what you want to know. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know? Can you hear me now? <laughs> what about now? Sorry? What, what? Nice. You know, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, over here. Okay, all right, now we're going to stick these two together. <coughs> Sorry. With the heater on, it does get a little dry in here. So I do find I drink a lot more liquids when I'm out here. But the other day, I had, like dinner, I guess it must have been Thursday night because Pop wasn't home yet. And uh, I had like three big, huge glasses of water with dinner. I'm like, uh oh, I'm going to regret that later. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Right. red heart right that's why I tried to do the small one in just like a one type of fabric because it had so much little pattern within the fabric itself I could have uh, sectioned it out sort of thing I know very little about a lot of things <laughs> nothing wrong with that people nothing wrong with that oops sorry this one that's why YouTube University is an awesome place <laughs> I've run out of things to bake and it's too cold out. Oven is so warm. <laughs> I left it open the other night because uh, it was so cold here after I made dinner for Marcus and I. Uh, I just left it open just to get the heat into the house. You know, like I, I'm already paying for it. So after I shut it off, of course. Right. Okay, so now we're on to five. Row five people. We're almost there. We're working our way up. So I've done 15 so far. Okay, this, let's, uh, I don't want to get confoozled. So, let, actually, let's just lay that right there. Okay, so far so good on the cuts. I baked brownies last night, so good, I bet. Do you like a, a cakey-like brownie or like a gooey, thick, dense brownie? Because I'm, I'm more like for a gooey brownie. And, you know, slap a good old scoop of ice cream on top and call me stuffed. Uh, four and four and one. Okay, three and one. So this one and this one. Both, yeah. Baked brownies. Okay, I like both, yeah? Yep, yep, yep. I was uh, looking, for, I wanted chocolate sauce so bad the other night. I don't even know what the heck I was wanting it on, but 
I'm like, how can you make your own magic shell that hardens? Uh, and I went Googling some, some and by that time I was like too tired to do it. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Sometimes I really want to, and then the motivation dies. <laughs> okay, so we're up on four. We're up on four's business here. Okay. Got two and five. Two and five with this in the middle. Two and five, and we're missing the square. Oh, no, we're not. Next one is, haha, ha. we're on four. Don't rush it. <sighs> that has confectioners. Oh, that would make sense, Allison. I love the wonkiness of the star. You're a lot younger than me, but others uh, in the chat might remember when Rob Pet Pierre's mother gave Laura an automatic, sorry, atomically correct heart brooch. <laughs> Broche? <laughs> you mean my broche? <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that yesterday. <laughs> I don't know why. Sometimes words are just like elude you and they're just hard. <laughs> That's okay. Last night at the dinner table, we're talking and I, I messed up a few words. Uh, you know, I said them wrong or something like that, which had Munchkin and Pop giggle in, and then Munchkin got it. He was like, he started saying words all a little weird. Oh. It was funny. It was like it was contagious. Ice cream. <laughs> yes. It might have been on for some ice cream. I'm not sure. It was something. Uh, hold on. Four, two, five. There we go. Two. Two and five. Two and five and four and two and five. All right, now we just got row three. Two and one. We're almost there, my homies. I like brownies in a mug. Oh, is, is that a recipe? Brownies in a mug? Oh, so you can just like nuke it? Or do you actually put the mugs in the oven? There, you can ha uh, have it. You can use Google. Memo. Yeah, exactly. Google University, or YouTube University, or as Miss Practically Creative says, Mr. Google Pants. <laughs> I heard her say that on one of her live streams or videos once, and I literally busted out laughing. So now he's he will always be Mr. Google Pants. <laughs> Mr. Google Pants. Hey, Liz, how you doing this afternoon? Welcome, welcome. We are working on a big heart and a little heart. The little heart is, uh, I shrunk the pattern, so the cuts, cut sizes I've all done. So um, they, some of them are, it makes them a little bit longer, but just line them up and you trim them up on the edge, okay, for the small one there. And then the big one is exclamation pattern. We'll get you a link to a bunch of actually heart kind of typey patterns that you may be interested in. There's quite a few there. And we got a few weeks before uh, Valentine's Day. Oh, please mark your calendar next week. Uh, we have our six hour stream on the 27th. We will go from noon Eastern, okay, to six Eastern PM, noon, noon to 6 PM. Come hang out with us. We're gonna work on some foxes. I'm gonna make uh, at least two. I'm gonna make one that's gonna go on the back of a kid's jacket that I'll be making. So I'm excited for that. I have to have it done by the end of April. Well, preferably for the middle of April or the early of April. So, um, yeah. And I'm trying to figure out what size I want to make the jacket too. So if you guys are interested in coming along with that adventure. Oh, I think I ran out of bobbin. <gasps> I lost the race. <laughs> I lost the race. When did I lose the race? Oh, I lost the race. Did I even start the race? I did. <laughs> I did barely start the race. Okay, got a load to bobbin. Got a load to bobbin. Cool on the jacket. Yeah, yeah, you guys are interested in that? Yeah, I'm going to make a kid's jacket first, and then I've got an idea to make myself one. Um, a little bit different, obviously. So, But I would like to try my hand at a kid one first. 
I always say Aunt, Aunt Tom and Uncle Jill. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I used to have um, Auntie Lorna and Uncle Lorne. Lorna and Lorne got married. Okay. They had lots of kids. Actually, one of their kids was in um, the Canadians Olympic thingy-majiggy for jujitsu. That was pretty cool watching them. Um, so, uh, and I used to say Auntie Lorne and Uncle Lorna all the time, all the time. I used to drive my mother crazy. And I would look at her and go, well, isn't it, isn't it the way it is? <laughs> she would go, no, it's the other way around. There's a two ingredient recipe, 12 ounce semi-sweet chocolates, one, one quarter cup of refined coconut. Oh, that's why it's coconut oil. Aha, gotcha. All right, let's load. Let's load here, bobbin time. Thank you, Miss Lois. And see, recipes for a mug makes a good portion. Actually, there is a lady out there on YouTube that does a, like single batches of things like cookies and brownies and cakes and stuff like that. So you don't have to make a big cake if you just got like two people. You could just make a small one for just that night. It's just for the two of you. That's it. There's no leftovers. No need to feel like you got to eat them all or whatever. Yeah, she's got like recipes for like just six cookies, six chocolate chip cookies. That's it, right? Which is kind of cool, because we all know we're gonna eat the whole batch if we eat if we make them all. <laughs> Hello, you and me, FPP. I'm late again. No worries, there, Miss Sylvia. No worries. Happy you're here. We just got a few more rows to put together on our heart here. Exclamation cut list for the one that I've done. Uh, I've miniaturized it and chopped up the pattern. Uh, and then you can go exclamation pattern if you want the full on. And it takes you to a link where you've got lots of uh, patterns to choose from. It is number two on the page that we're doing, but there is plenty on the page if you wanted to take on something a little bit different. And we got a little plenty of time to get your heart project done for Valentine's Day. No leftovers. I know, right? It's it's sometimes a good thing and a bad thing. <laughs> there we go. I have Vin and Jerry and could never remember which is which. <laughs> I thought you were thinking like Ben and Jerry ice cream. I'm like. things people <laughs> okay all right back up here there's seven people in the house that loves cookies I would never make uh, sorry, I would have to make five batches. I know, right, April? <laughs> That's why for the boys for Christmas, I'm like, okay, I will make you your favorite batch of cookies. With Pops, we went sugarless, right? So, but, and Munchkin got um, chocolate chip with Reese, um, the little Reese pieces thingies that he likes so much. So, and apparently those were like the best cookies. They, were, they turned out really nice. I made myself some whipped shortbread, but realized after eating like three, I I really couldn't eat them. They actually bothered me. I was like, oh. like darn it. That's okay. It is life. Life is life. Da -da -da -da. Okay, why is that? Oh, did I flip that wrong? Did I flip that wrong? Was that way and that way? It was. Oopsies. Okay, Seam Ripper. Seam Ripper, Seam Ripper. You're my best friend. Seam Ripper, Seam Ripper. Right to the very end. Yeah, I lined him up wrong. Whoops. No green blob keeps attacking the mom. <laughs> it's Pops uh, just trying to get things to work. He's been gone for two th two weeks and I, I, I touch stuff. So 
<laughs> Pretty much explains it. <laughs> um, Zach bought himself a Count Duco hilt, a 36 inch lightsaber last night in Star Wars land. He was just like, uh, just taking a photo to send to his buddy. <laughs> nice. He's got the forces with him. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, Team Ripper. But this one is dull as all heck, and I need to find the other one. There it is. All batches would have to be uh, triggerless. Uh, we picked up some interesting um, no no calorie sweetener, but it's 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 like a real thing. It's like a, I forget the name of it. This white is just a little fragile, it seems, and I don't want to tear it. So I'm just gonna rip out the stitches this way. Oopsies. Sorry, small delay. We made a mistake. That's okay. We know they can be fixed. They're not too bad. I only have two more trees to do and then yes, no, I did yesterday's. I have today's to do. So I'll probably catch up that on Monday. <clears throat> and then I have, oh, maybe not. Monday's infusion. I don't do much after. Stevia? Uh, I think it might be Stevia. It's not no, no, it's not Stevia. I did see Stevia on the shelf, though. That's right. Um, I like lasagna better than next. Me too. Same with shepherd's pie or cottage pie, depending on where you're from. Lasagna. Um, um, what else do I like better the next day? Uh, like a stew, like a beef stew or something like that. I always find that with lasagna, if it's served like so fresh hot out of the oven, it just kind of <clears throat> melts in your plate. But if you just kind of warm it up the next day, it kind of sticks all together sort of thing. <coughs> Got the plowing done, back for a bit. How's it going? It's not too bad except we're using the... Um, the seam ripper. But that's okay. <laughs> I had the chat playing while I helped hubby unload the groceries while I was pin basting my daughter's runner. Nice! For the table runner. The heart table runner. Very nice. Okay. Alright. Let's do this again. But the right way. Okay? There, that can look much better. Much, much better. I think we got it the right away. What are we? One, four, and five, right? Four and five. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this one's one. That's three. And four is two and five. seems to be better. We're doing it this way. Four and five. Yes, four and five. Okay. Whoops. Homemade enchiladas are always so delicious, those leftovers. Mmm, that does sound good. Chili and stew. Yeah, chili for sure. And definitely stew. Definitely beef stew. <clears throat> Especially if it's got dumplings in it. Join us. Jeez, on, on a quick what? How do you, uh, join us for Sunday dinner? John's, John's, John's for Sunday dinner. Who's John? He's going to be expecting a lot of people right now. Or will he? <laughs> Al, uh, Al, Al, you, no, I don't think it's that either there, Rebel. I'm not sure. I'll have to, I'll have to look at it. I thought about making some chocolate chip cookies with it and see how it goes. <clears throat> but we also want to start making our own bread bread too, right? Because I can only have white. I can't have wheat or multigrain or anything like that yet. Yet, obviously. Um, but we we can also mill our own, too. Like, if we get those... Like, I my favorite cereal in the whole wide world uh, was hot cereal, was, was Red River cereal. And it has nothing but flax seeds and barley and all sorts of fun stuff in it. All, all seeds type, type stuff. So I can't have that anymore. But what if I mill it and make it like a bit of a paste... 
instead, like a, you know, cream of weeds or an oatmeal sort of thing. I think I, I don't see why I can't have that. Alright, back on track, people. Love dumplings, me too. Uh, I I don't know where our bread maker is, April. I haven't, I haven't seen that sucker in a long time. I, I think we stopped. Actually, you know what? I think it broke. I think it broke. The paddle broke in it. That's right. The paddle we broke in it. as much as your new bread maker to replace it. Yeah, yeah. And then we just said, no, that's fine. We'll, we'll just do without. It used to do banana bread so nicely. I used to love it for that. Okay, now we're on three. Oops, sorry, people. I apologize. I should have hit the button. Sure. I'm a diabetic, and that's what I use. They also have it for baking. Um, I'm, tr I'm trying to remember the package. I literally, I only went down the aisle to grab some uh, vanilla, and I happened to see it, and I was like, ooh, took it back to Pop to see if, like, hey, is this the, do you want to try this? It's a little expensive, but we could have cookies, right? And I also want to respect his decision, and as well, it's a healthier choice for me, too. So, and that's how I'm thinking about it. So I'm not thinking about it's, oh, it's a sacrifice or it's this or that. Nuh -uh. It's a healthier choice for all of us in the family. So, and, and, and we could all use that healthier choice. So, yeah, we went grocery shopping this morning, walked right past the chocolate bars. Nope. Not, not hopping in our cart. Nopeity, nope, nope. Okay. So we got this one. We need the big in. We need the small in, we need this one, and then we need a big in. Okay, so it's this, this, and this. Tomorrow will be our uh, typical northwest winter day here in South Texas. High of 30s all day with rain. Soup for us on the menu. I bet. Something nice, warm, and hearty, and keep you trucking all day. There was, uh, when I was out here, I'd hop into the house, make myself a quick soup. Munch it in there and come right back out with a hot cup of tea and work the rest of the afternoon. There was a few days, I think I was out here for 10 hours at least, because uh, I'd come out here uh, and then uh, Zoom with Pop when he got to work for sometimes only half an hour or even just 10 minutes, so before he had to, had to go for his day sort of thing. So it was very, very enjoyable. So it did, it did make for longer days, but... It's okay. Wednesday, I took a nap. I was just, I came in after lunch, or I was going to come back out here after lunch. I had big plans to do this, this, and everything, and I was just like, I need to go lay down. <laughs> it was gone. Gone, gone, gone. Okay, so this is three, and we're going to stick this up on here. I had to get, no, we, uh, we're trying to stay away, so we don't need it, right? But... If we want a treat, then I want to be able to make our own treats. I don't want to have to just go and buy a treat, right? Because that's, we can, we can tweak it. We can tweak it, like, for less sugar. I've made banana breads with less sugar, cookies with less sugar, and it, it's very little taste difference, right? So. I think it was erythritol based. Uh, uh, sorry? Erythritol. Erythro, I can't even say that word. Erythritol? Yeah. I feel I like my tongue's. Said on it. I uh, can't okay. It. Oh. Uh, when, oh, it's, um, ex, uh, exclamation cut list. It's, we're working on the same one. Uh, this is just the big one. And then I made it smaller behind me as a tester to see if I was going to like it. I love it, of course. So all the cut lists should be exclamation cut list for you for the small one and exclamation pattern for the big one. The big one is 20, uh, sorry, not 20, uh, 50 by 55. Anyone? Um. Uh -huh. Hello? What's what's up with Teresa Jukowitz? What's going on? Are you having a panic attack? <laughs> what's going on, Teresa? Is she not seeing chat? <laughs> we were trying to. We're trying to help. <laughs> Eluos? Okay, man, I guess it was that. Okay, I'm sorry, Rebel. Sorry, the, I guess it was. You love? Yeah? Okay, well, I think we're going to make some cookies tomorrow, so. Ooh, chicken soup today. 
sorry, sweetie? I don't think it was allulose. I think it was oh. erythritol. Oh, erythritol. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. To get the pattern from small. Yes, I don't know how to get the pattern. Okay. Exclamation pattern list. Exclamation pattern. And then the exclamation pattern. For the pattern. For the pattern. It's the same thing. I just took this, the picture that's there, and I just did all the mathematicians to make a small one. Like that one there. Okay. And apparently I was having a good math day because it worked out. So it's the same principle. It's the same principle, Teresa Jukowitz. Just it make, you're having the smaller pieces. Okay. I set it out just like it would be for the big cuts. The same, same, same layout, everything. Uh, those would be leaves. I'm assuming, how can you see leaves? Can you see leaves? I can't see leaves. Right, hold on. There's, there's the outside camera right now. That's what it looks outside right now. It's 9.20 p.m. and I have to make dinner. Oh my goodness, that's late. Make a toast with eggs. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. Okay, we got two more peeps holes. Two mores. Okay. Rule number two. So easy. So easy. Oh, did it actually start snowing? Sorry. Oh, it did. Look at it. There it is, people. It's coming in. behind you mom what's behind me uh oh okay i can't see them in the monitors or in the display so the birds flying behind me well, i'm still with those that's okay oh other way other way uh all this cookie and banana bread talk is making me hungry <laughs> i'm getting hungry for dinner that's for sure daniel <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not cooking for once. So I've done a lot of cooking. Mm, Pop has it. <laughs> I made I made breakfast today and I made lunch. So I'm good for today and tomorrow. And probably Monday. <laughs> okay, here's two. Last row. Last row, people. Last row. What row is it? What? I don't hear you. Well, it actually is the first row. <laughs> but last row. <clears throat> yes, thank you, Teresa Louise. I quilt too for trying to help out Teresa Jukowitz. You're connecting with your Teresa powers. Mm -hmm. Don't you get that uh, here in the next town? We don't get that here. We have a town next to another, like 15 kilometers apart, so no big space. Ah, okay. Yeah, we have we have lovely, lovely, lovely space. Last row. <laughs> Last row. <laughs> oh, Kelly's gotta go. I'm going to head out and sew some more. Bye, Miss Kelly. Quilts and cruises. Have a great rest of the weekend, my dear. And we'll see you soon. First row done last. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Nancy. All right. We'll put the one and the two together, and then we'll stick it to the three, four, five. Put the one, two together, and we'll stick it to the three, four, five. Mm, 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 mm. Connie Joe, hello, I'm late to the party. What's going on, Miss Connie Joe? <coughs> How you doing? Carbonara spaghetti is the best? Mmm, yes, that's with the egg, right? Will they put the raw egg in with the pasta? I think that's it. If I've done my research correctly, Mm -hmm. 
We're gonna have chicken spaghetti for dinner. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. I didn't even think about chicken and spaghetti. I have chicken and the green. Chicken Alfredo. We had soup last night. Tonight we were having meatballs and broccoli, right? Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. Bucket's empty, people. Bucket is empty. No, somebody needs to clean up all this mess. Not it. to the three, four, five. Make sure it's right. It is. Then we'll add it to the strip there and then the strip to the one behind me. 35 inches. Oh my goodness. Oh, study? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Forcing studies show that her hook is linked to stroke. Oh, okay. Well, we'll check it before we, we use it, okay? I can always take it back and get a refund. So, if I choose, we choose not to use it. Housework took over and I am over it now. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So that and that is going to go there. This is going to get shoved up under here. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's pin so we can get those two done. Oh, this is going to be so darn cute. Broody toot. Hello from North Carolina. My first time watching. Ian sent you. We love Ian. In the off kilter crafter. He's amazing. He is. Well, hello, Hemi by Donna. How are you, my dear? I have some good news. I have some good news. You know how you wanted to chat with me a while ago? Like a long time ago? We can do that now. Okay? So I'm going to bug you on Facebook and send you a message. Are you okay with that? Are you okay with me bugging you there, Donna? Are we okay? Because <laughs> now we can have a chat chat. And I hope your granddaughter, Harper, is doing much better. I was thinking about her every day. She's got a nice honking scar on her chest, eh? <laughs> it's almost, it almost looks like mine, but it's on my belly. <laughs> I go like that, like. <clears throat> yeah. Ian is bad. Oh, was he doing his walk around uh, quilt shop thingy today? I'm gonna have to definitely watch that. I wanted to, oh, I'm like, ow. I'm streaming and he's going to be walking around. I don't want to watch it. Gotta love the replay. Pop, I just did a search for Earth, uh, Earth and all kinds of things came up about it. Oh my goodness, see? See, that's what happens. <laughs> awesome. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And I'm, I'm sorry about the delay. It was trying with our uh, OBS and ATM system and uh, a, yeah, ATM system. So sorry. Um, just... Oh, it was making it very difficult to try and um, do those sorts of things. So, yes, thank you. Thank you for being patient. I'm sorry, Donna. I'm sorry. They make a chocolate stout cake and cat head biscuits. 
What is that, my quilt projects? And who was sacrificed? She's doing well uh, as we made uh, a heart for her. Oh, I wish we could make her one. Like, that's a nice big pretty heart. <laughs> I'd take that. Yeah, she's a trooper, let me tell you. You gotta think of an, an adult went through that sort of situation. Kids are so resilient. They're, they grow every day. Their body is constantly trying to, you know, heal and reproduce and stuff like that, right? So yes, that's good to know. Oh, oh, other side, other side. Okay, and then we just got one more seam after this. You could put a border on it if you like. Um, I think I might try and do a scrappy border for it with some of the leftover fabrics, but I'm gonna have to try and plan that out first. So, because I wouldn't mind making. Uh, chicken and ricotta meatballs. Ooh, that does sound good. Mm -hmm. Hi, Josie. How you doing? Welcome to the chat. Yes, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Uh, I'll be uh, okay, okay, sounds good. Oh, and Miss Pat Strawhouse found uh, a lovely, um, we're doing a cross stitch pattern on starting on Tuesday that it's quilts, but they're cross stitched, uh, like you're cross stitching quilts on a line sort of thing, and gorgeous. She did make a post to the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop uh, Facebook page. Uh, so if you want to check it out there and want to come tag along, there's, um, there's beautiful ones out there for sure. Sent me a link of where she found uh, the one we are working on for twenty-four dollars on clearance. Stout beer stout is a good old-fashioned chocolate. Oh, interesting. That sounds pretty tasty. I mean, you can always like de-alcohol it. Well, it actually would cook out, wouldn't it? So it would just burn out. In the, in the okay. I just don't want to have, have something I'm not allowed in that way. Hello, I love to sew. Also lurking, use an app called Yuka. If you can scan a barcode, it tells you what chemicals are in it. Does most foods and households, to, oh, that is that is interesting. That little tidbit of information is gonna help a lot of people there. I love to sew. Margie Nell, I made the free heart a few years ago. It was, uh, Half square triangles, not strips. Uh, would love to make this one. There's actually a few on that website that if you go exclamation pattern, um, it links, links you to quite a few uh, free heart uh, projects. So whether you're doing it as a birthday gift for Valentine's Day, as a wedding gift, I think have, doing a heart like this is perfect. You could put two of them side by side and then border them out and they got a perfect little lap quilt. No, I wouldn't say little, perfectly big lap quilt for the couch with the, the two hearts of them together. Yeah. Okay. So exclamation cut list will get you the cut list for the small one, just the cut list. But then you follow the pattern as it's normally laid out via exclamation pattern. So I've done all the math for you to half this to this from this big size, okay? Now let's add our bottom to our heart to our top of our heart. Oops. Okay. And then we're almost done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stout beer does, t uh, uh, chocolate cake does sound pretty tasty. I wouldn't say no and I accept deliveries. <laughs> You found that one? This one? This one, Allison? Yeah? Okay. Cathead biscuits is an American test kitchen recipe. My breakfast for the week. Breakfast for... Oh, really? Cathead biscuits? I'm going to have to look that up. I love American test kitchen. That's where we got our turkey. How to cook a turkey from. It was the Julia Child way. Yes, and you have to say it that way. <laughs> it's mandatory. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so adorable. Yes, well thank you for anybody who came over from Ian who is who's live streaming in the quilt shop. That is awesome. Thank you very much. He is an awesome and amazing guy, and I can't wait to one day meet him. So him and Becca were talking last night about going to not quilt con in 2025, but maybe of 26. So 
maybe we can uh, make an arrangement or something like that for, I don't even know where Quick Call, Quick Con is going to be in 26, so. But I would certainly like to go. I found the hanging quilts cross stitch. Oh, nice. Excellent there, Miss Allison. It's cute, isn't it? It's so adorable. Thank you to Miss Nadine for gifting that to me. I'm going to have a heck of a lot of fun playing with it. Mm -mm. Oh, it's your nose. Sorry. Just looked up the biscuits and there are bunches of sites the, with it listed, including Martha Stewart. Oh, cool. Gotta love Martha Stewart. Chick does time and she's still on Prime. Can you see it all? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe, well, sort of. I think your hands are just out of spring. Oh, there? Is that better? Yeah. Here we go. That's the big heart. And with it boarded up, should be 50 by 55. Right now, it's at doo -doo 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 -doo, 40 and a half. So, like I said, you could put like even four of them together would make an awesome queen size quilt. Or. Two hearts, one in one corner, one in the other, and maybe a couple of big honking log cabins. That would be pretty. Okay, so small heart, exclamation cut list. Sorry, I'm just not stuck here. And then uh, exclamation pattern for the big one here, okay? Hopefully you can see all that. It's kind of cute. It's a great kid's quilt just like this. You know what I mean? Uh, just uh, got off the... Oh, nice, Donna Faye. I'm glad you're here. Happy to see you. Yeah, free. Free project. Free. So super cute. I'm loving it. Didn't take very long at all. Maybe about half an hour, 45 minutes to make sure I had everything cut. And then I sectioned it up with clips and then uh, little numbers that I just put on paper. I reuse these things all the time. I got back and fronts all used, F and 13, um, <clears throat> just to reuse it. And then you can put a nice border. I didn't have enough of the gray to do the border. So that's why I'm thinking about doing a scrappy one with maybe the greens and the grays and the, the white and the stuff like that. So, or I have quite a bit of this one with the arrows in it. I could use that as the borders. So, <clears throat> you could also make a piece of strip piece fabric, cut out the heart and have the, oh, for sure. Oh, for sure, you totally could. You know what would be cute? I just had that when you said the applique. If you put a paw print, like a paw print on it, and then maybe the name of the puppers or the kitty with the paw in it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Do, 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 do. Oh, Sakin gave us a raid? Awesome. Mm -hmm. We're going to take them over to Mama. Uh, is Mama Isa? I don't know. Is Mama Isa fam? Is she streaming on Twitch? It looks nice. Thank you, Jackie. Welcome. Thank you, Tisha. So remember, uh, exclamation cut list, okay? We'll get you the pieces that you need to make this little one here, which ends up being about 24. I did put a three inch border on it. Quilted it super easy, okay? I do have tabs on it to hang it up, but you don't have to. Use the white, yeah, Tina? Okay, I'll think about it. I may do a scrappy one and then put a white one. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so there's the small one there. Super cute, and I didn't, I, uh, people were thinking I used salvage, but I didn't. I just used fabric that I had and chopped it up, okay? And it's got, like, Paris with flowers and hearts, so it reminded me of, like, a romance at the blooming, with the croissants, you know what I mean? And the pizza and the rome. 
London fish and chips. <laughs> yeah, so, and like I said, I just put it here and then I put little tabs here and you know, it's, it's, all, it's all cute just for easy hanging up. But it would be great for this to be a dolly quilt and then this one to be a kid's quilt. You know what I mean? I think that would be cute. But you do you, okay? You do you. So that's the two hearts for today. Do -do -do. Join us for uh, Cross Stitch Tuesday, 11 Eastern. We start here. Okay. White inner and scrap. That, yeah, I might. That's actually a good idea, too, idea there, too, there, Pat Strahos. It looks like you're saying cultists all the time. I'm, I'm sorry. When it cut this pops up, <laughs> it looks like it says cultists. <laughs> Please join the cultists. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not a cult. Not a cult. <laughs> but that's perfect. That's a nice, good size heart. What did I say? It was like 48 by, should be squarish, one would think. 48 by 46? Or what did I say? Was it 46? Oh, 40, 41 by 46. Okay, so not a little longer than it is wide. Anybody have any questions? Um... Oh, well, thank you, Pat Strawhouse. Well, it's actually you that really inspired the really thinking about the, the miniatures in a different angle. When you said, I don't have a lot of wall space or I have this wall I want to fill up with small things, the small quilt projects. And when you were here like a year and a half ago, uh, almost two years now. Um, so it was kind of like, how, how can I, when looking at a pattern, like the, the wreath, the wreath one, for example, okay was how do we take that big one and then make it smaller using jelly rolls, right? So we did that. But not only is it a wreath, if you look at it, it's a donut, it's a bagel, it's an inner tube, it's a hole, it's a circle. You do a big X on another block, you got X's and O's, right? Just think about it. So this became a small one for this project. And then we made the big one. Remember, I made the mistake cuts for the quilt shop one and ended up making that one as a small one. As a, hey, well, we could do this too, right? So, but yeah. It is getting a little chilly in here. Put my toque on, Canadian. <laughs> okay, any questions? Any questions? So who are we raiding? Everything bagel, right? Think of all the little beads you could stitch on that thing. Make an awesome pillow side to a bag, a little wall hanging. Do one for each season of the year. I mean, why not, right? We good? I am if you are. Okay, if nobody has any questions, um, you all have a fantastic rest of the weekend. We will see everybody else. Hold on. Would it be possible to get a link or name of the spool quilt hang up? Um, that was done as one of our videos. It would be in the past projects there, Daniel. If, if I could remember it offhand, I would love to tell you. I think it was just called pink spools or scrappy spools. Might have been the way it is. And you don't have to tilt them either. You can put them either way you like, right? So I just, I just had some fun with it. Hello, Danelle. Yes, have a great, have a great weekend. I would, I would just suggest maybe just going through uh, some of our past videos and looking up spool, at least a spool or something like that would pop in. It's probably been at least four years, maybe five since we did it. We're actually just starting our eighth year on uh, YouTube and we have over 1,200 videos. So yeah, you guys, everybody stay warm if you can. Sewing sensations by Sadie Susan. Hello there. Nice to see you here. I'm usually lurking in yours. <laughs> you all have a great weekend, okay? And I am sending you little love. And I'm sending you big love. Have a great rest of the weekend. Big hugs, everybody. We'll see you soon.